David, what do you got here? We got the Fleerview Pro. It's a camera that we're just uh, sending to distributors right now. It's uh, based on the Fleerview that's been out for a few months and has been uh, doing really well. But it adds uh, onboard recording. It's got a Bluetooth interface and a control app for iOS or Android. Um, and then on this side, you can plug in and actually control a few of the camera functions uh, over PDM, P excuse me, PWM with your radio. Wow. Now, uh, what is this going to cost when it hits the street? Uh, well, it's already it's already out there. It starts at 1999. 1999. So for about 2,000 bucks, I have a camera that can basically save lives. Is that yes, it? absolutely. Now, tell me what the application is for the floor camera. What do, what's special about it? And how does it help find people, lost pets, whatever? You tell me what it does. Uh, well, thermal cameras, at their essence, they detect and display differences in heat, okay, or heat energy. And it's been a proven thing for public safety, search and rescue for decades. You know, FLIR came out with, with, with one of the first really popular uh, public safety FLIRs for full-scale helicopters, the Ultra 2000 line, that was the standard in airborne law enforcement and public safety for about 25 years. For example, you could spot a getaway car because right. the motor is warm and it lights up the front end of the right. car like if, a Christmas tree. If, or let's say you had you, you had a chase going on and he pulled into a crowded parking lot. You could tell which cars had been parked recently or were even still running versus the ones that had been there for a while and were cooled down. Um, same thing if you were looking for someone who was lost in the woods there or in the, even in the desert. Their heat difference with their background is going to stand out from quite a, wise, quite a ways away. Or my not-too-smart not hound dog gets away from me, I can find him with his heat pattern. Is that what you're... I'm, I'm, you're going to have a better shot than just calling him, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're right. Well, David, thank you for showing me this wonderful device. Is there any, the device, is there anything I haven't asked you that you should probably want to tell me? Uh, just that this is really proven technology and it has been for airborne applications for a long, long time, really since the mid-70s. And we're really excited that we're able to come up with products that can be used on these uh, less expensive platforms so we can get more imagers in the air, saving lives and helping people uh, live better lives. And, and as you and I both know, these little drones like this Inspire one that you have yep. here next to me, they can get into canyons and tight spaces where helicopters could never fit. Right, and you know, that's with, with search and rescue applications, that's something that, uh, that thermal on drones is used for quite a bit, is simply eliminating areas that maybe would be more dangerous to put uh, 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 people walking or, or horse patrols on. You, if you had like st steep cliff faces, you can put drones up and you can eliminate those areas very quickly as, as search possibilities and concentrate your crews in areas that are easier to access, they're not as dangerous for your people, and they got a higher chance of success of finding a victim. Okay, one more thing. I'm going to slide down here. Okay. You guys are in Wilsonville, Oregon? Th that's our headquarters. We've got an office in Santa Barbara as well, too. You have an office in Santa Barbara. And we've got one in the Boston area, and actually in Nashua, and then one in uh, Stockholm, Sweden. And you're all over the internet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> covering the world. All right. Hey, David, thank you very much. You bet. Thanks for taking